Hello, I'm Bloody Amazing, and in this presentation, I'm going to show you how I repaired my HD AE5000 expansion board in my KN5000 Technics keyboard. Then I will also mention how to solve some other problems relating to keyboards in general. Now the slideshow regarding the repair of the Technics HD AE5000 and other repairs in general. Before beginning though, uh, remember to disconnect the power and keep it far away from your keyboard while you're working inside to protect your keyboard and to protect yourself. Please remember you can pause this presentation at any stage to read the documentation. Anyway, my keyboard refuses to load anything on the hard drive. My friend, a prior um, reseller of these keyboards wasn't able to repair it even after taking it to Melbourne. So in desperation I tried uh, rebooting track naught as indicated in the manual reproduced here for those who happen to have lost theirs. Uh, that failed so then I decided that the data was lost anyway so then I tried reformatting the hard drive as indicated in the manual. Please note that the numbers here uh, are not actually on any buttons. They are the black buttons under the screen and I mark them temporarily with pencil. Anyway, that reformat failed. So then I decided it was time to remove the hard drive, which I did by removing the cover over the hard drive circuit, uh, undid the screws, note that one of them has an earth attachment, uh, gently lift the PC board at the end where it is not attached and then having lifted a little you can slide it out then you can remove the hard drive. Uh, I was then able to seek help regarding the hard drive from the manufacturers. They replied almost immediately, thank goodness, saying that virtually any laptop hard drive they had produced would be suitable for the keyboard. So, and if there were none available, they even gave me a list of what they had available, but there should be some available in Australia. So I went over to my local PC doctor who happened to have a hard drive for a uh, laptop there. Uh, I installed it reversing the procedure and then of course you have to format it uh, and that will come up again using the instructions in the manual uh, and then having reformatted the hard drive it was obviously working. I used the flash update floppy I had with it to update the software of the hard drive and it works like a charm. So if you are having problems with your hard drive and your your HD AE5000, uh, rest assured that you can repair it yourself or at least take this information to your local IT computer man who should be able to do the job for you if you're worried and perhaps he might be able to even save the data that was on your drive saving you a lot of reloading. Here you see a slide of the hard drive that came out of it. Uh, now if you are having other problems with your computer, it won't boot. It is a good idea always to check the fuses. You will see a slide come up here in a minute where you can refer to an earlier presentation of mine regarding re checking and repairing these uh, fuses. Make sure once again, of course, that the power is disconnected or you'll be playing harp in heaven instead of keyboards on earth. If you like these presentations, please comment or at least thumbs up so I can continue producing them for you. And other than that, happy keyboarding. Remember, you're able to pause this presentation at any stage to read the documentation should you have lost yours.